For our design problem, we chose to focus on sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is an important issue because it affects so many people and can not only affect performance in work and school, but also affect the safety of others. Studies show that driver fatigue is just as dangerous as drunk driving. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine estimates that one in five adults are sleep deprived in the U.S. and each day one out of five serious motor vehicle injuries is related to driver fatigue. Before we began thinking about the design, we explored some of the existing solutions to the problem. These included both software solutions, such as the Sleep Cycle app for iPhone, as well as non-software solutions, such as Caffeine. The Sleep Cycle app, for example, has received mixed reviews. For some people, it works impressively, but others find themselves disappointed. Users noted that it does not work well if there is more than one person in the same bed. Another example, Caffeine, is a very common and often dangerous solution to sleep deprivation. It rewires the brain, forcing the consumer to ingest more and more caffeine as their tolerance increases. In addition to regular side effects, caffeine users are subjected to extreme withdrawal symptoms in the event that they choose to kick the habit. When we first began thinking about specific designs, we had a very broad understanding of our users' environment and tasks. We thought about several sleep-deprived user groups, such as those with medical conditions, night shift workers, students, and others. We explored a variety of designs, including a design that used behavior reinforcement techniques from the field of psychology to reduce snoozing behavior, a design which used home automation techniques to create an alarm system which incorporated multiple senses such as temperature, light, or the smell of coffee, a design which allows the user to synchronize their online calendar to their alarm, and a design which wakes the user by some other means than sound alone. This could be helpful if the user shares a bedroom with another person such as a roommate, spouse, or partner and does not wish to wake the other person up. We developed three versions of this design. First, a vibrating watch alarm which uses an audible vibration to wake the user. Second, an earplug alarm which has a small internally focused speaker that only the user can hear. And third, an eye mask alarm which simulates the sunrise by gradually increasing light using fiber optic fabric. After exploring these various designs, we decided to narrow our user group to those users who share a bedroom with another person, such as a spouse, partner, or roommate, and do not wish to wake the other person up with the sound of their alarm. This also narrowed our environment and tasks and allowed us to focus our ideas on a more specific solution. We designed an alarm system which has the option of using an audible alarm, but also has the ability to wake the user up by means of vibration. This is accomplished by containing the alarm system in a watch, which the user wears on their wrist. The watch features a small touch screen with an accompanying interface for changing the alarm settings. Our design prototype comes in two forms, the software interface and the hardware device. The software interface prototype is implemented as a website which can simulate the user's touch gestures as they interact with it. The home screen shows the time, date, and alarm status. Swiping to the left or right will reveal one of two primary menus containing several options such as set alarm, set date, set time, display, alarm, and vibrate. We also built a basic prototype of the hardware device in order to get a feel for how a vibrating watch would look, feel, and operate. In order to evaluate the effectiveness and usability of our design, we allowed users to test our interface and provide us feedback about their experience. Seven users completed the following six tasks before answering a questionnaire. In the first task, the user must adjust the settings on the watch so that the time is displayed in a 24-hour format. In the second task, the user must adjust the settings on the watch so that it displays the year. In the third task, the user must adjust the settings on the watch so that the alarm is turned off. In the fourth task, the user must navigate to the screen which would allow them to change the background color. In the fifth task, the user must navigate to the screen which would allow them to change the vibration pattern of the alarm. In the sixth and final task, the user must navigate to the screen which would allow them to change the ringtone of the alarm. Overall, the users found the interface to be easy to use. 
Six out of seven found our system easy to navigate through the menus and accomplished a task set before them. And on a semantic differential scale from one to five, with one being confusing and five being clear, we received a mean rating of 4.4, with the majority of users giving us a rating of five and no user giving a rating below a three. While the questionnaire showed us that users found our interface easy to use, we did discover some concerns which would need to be addressed in the next design iteration. For example, none of our participants believed that the system would benefit them in the amount of rest they received at night. This finding would lead us to conduct field testing to measure whether or not participants became better rested as a result of our product, or it might lead us to rework the design entirely. These findings only highlight how important evaluation is as a part of the user-centered design process.